I'm Matt Walden, professional racer, and today you're here with Mishimoto and a 99 Ford F250. This is the Power Stroke Diesel, and we are making some serious power, and for serious power, we need serious cooling. This here is the Mishimoto radiator for the Ford Power Stroke 7.3 diesel. And whether you're rolling coal, rolling to the track, or just having a good time, this guy is gonna keep the motor cool. It features fully polished end tanks, TIG welded aluminum core, and the radiator, this, this radiator itself, there's no plastic on it. So even though the stock one has plastic end tanks, this is gonna last longer than the actual truck. You can't go wrong with these guys, and if you need serious cooling and serious power, this is the radiator for you. These are the tools that are going to be required to install the radiator. You're going to need two sets of pliers, one standard, one needle nose, 8 millimeter socket, 11 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, extension, ratchet, and a coolant funnel. Difficulty level on the Mishimoto radiator would be a 2 out of 5. Alright, first things first, before we get started with any kind of taking apart, draining of fluids, you want to make sure the truck is cool and you want to remove both of the negative battery terminals. You're going to use a half inch socket on these guys. Don't forget to do them both or we may be reading about you on the front page of the paper. So it's going to take quite some time to drain all this out. So let's go uh, get some lunch and we'll be right back after, these, uh, after this commercial break. Now that all the coolant's drained out of this, we're ready to rock and roll with the rest of this. First thing first, you gotta get rid of the jack tools, which make their home right on top of the radiator. After you've got the jack tools out of the way, take your eight millimeter socket. We're gonna use air just in, in essence to save, save a little bit of time here. Put it on these guys right in here, get, it, get a little close up on that. And the radiator upper brackets also, same thing, eight millimeters. We're gonna call this guy Sneaky Pete because you gotta lift this up and get under here for this one. Once you got those guys out of the way, the upper bracket should come off with one piece. All right, next step is to remove the rest of the coolant reservoir over here. It's already loosened up because we removed the bolts for it for the upper radiator stay. There's two more guys right down here. After you got this guy completely loose, you can take off this upper coolant hose on this. This goes to the top of the radiator. After you get the lower hoses disconnected, pull this coolant reservoir straight up. And this is the hose that connects onto the bottom of the radiator that you just un undid from downstairs. Next step is take the hose clamp off of the upper radiator hose. That is also eight millimeter. Along with the upper fan shroud on this guy. Once everything's loose, you should be able to move this fan shroud around a little bit. And it sits in two bottom pegs, which I'll show you in a minute on the radiator. Once that's out of those bottom pegs, you should be able to lift this radiator right out of the truck. This is another reason you should have a mission motor radiator in your car. After 10 years, there's bound to be some dead animals and small deer in the front end of this thing. Check these guys out. Let's do a little comparison real quick. Almost twice the thickness of the stock core. Now that the old radiator is out, in with the new, this Mishimoto unit is going to be slid down right in between, just like the old one came out here. And when you're putting it down in here, make sure you get it in the bottom pegs down below. If you have to climb underneath and check it out, make sure you do so. You definitely want that to sit in the right place. Once you have the metal pegs inside of the rubber bushings in the bottom of this, put this fan shroud right back on here. There's little tabs on the bottom. You can kind of see them if you look down through here. And if you look up from the bottom of the truck, you should be able to see them as well. And then reusing the OEM screws that came out of the original radiator, you want to put these guys back in here. After you get that fan shroud bolted up, we're ready to reattach the upper radiator hose to this guy. And make sure you tighten down the clamps. Like a glove. Ready for the coolant reservoir? Slide this guy right, right through here between the intercooler piping and the actual fan shroud itself. And this is gonna have to hook up to the bottom of the radiator, so make sure that it's not touching anything, any moving parts. Before you mount the upper radiator mounts, 
pull this hose off the stock. Come over here and put this right onto the Mishimoto one. This is gonna go from the top of the radiator to the overflow tank. Now that the radiator's sitting in place where it should be, we're gonna go ahead and put the end brackets back on and make sure all your holes line up with the factory mounting points. Don't forget about Sneaky Pete under there. Make sure you get this screw back in here and two down here that we took out earlier. All right, now that we've wrapped pretty much everything up up top here, let's go underneath, button up the lower hoses, and we're almost ready to go. Time to fit the spare tire tools back in here. You don't want to get stranded. Now that we got everything buttoned up, we're ready to attach the negative battery terminals back on the batteries. Time to mix some cooling up. Get her going. Well, since this truck takes almost five gallons of coolant, we're going to start off by dumping two of antifreeze in it. Top it off with a little bit of water here. Make sure you use that 50-50 mix. You really want, ideally, you want 50% antifreeze, 50% water. All right, after you have the radiator installed, filled back up, start the vehicle, turn the heat on high. You want to monitor the water level in the coolant overflow bottle, as well as also monitoring the coolant temperature gauge on the dash. Take the vehicle on a road test, and you're all finished up with it. Enjoy your new Mishimoto products.